From a sustainability standpoint, it just keeps coming back to education and educating our tourists. The better you care for the land, the better quality food comes from that land. In the city of San Luis Obispo, our community has really prioritized climate action and sustainability repeatedly over the last decade. And that just really reflects our community's commitment to being sustainable. We really believe that wine has the ability to lead in the push towards more sustainable agriculture. Um, it's not a compromise between how do we do things that are good for the planet and how do we do things that are, that are going to make the highest quality grapes. They're, they're one and the same. As brewers, we inherited sort of the mantle of sustainability. You know, water obviously gets recycled and processed back into the brewery. Nothing is wasted. As part of our Carbon Neutral by 2035 goal, we've committed to planting 10,000 new trees in our community in open space. 1% of the tourism fees go to fund the Keys for Trees program. So that 1% of funding helps pay for the nursery to plant the trees and grow them, for community volunteers to plant them and maintain them, and then ultimately allows our community and visitors all to experience and enjoy them. When you visit SoCal, you can tap into Farmstead Ed and we can direct you to different workshops, bringing people to the farm so they can meet the farmers, see where their food is grown, learn how their food is grown, and then they can make healthy choices for where they're getting their food. In the county of San Luis Obispo, we have an anaerobic digester. And what that means is that any visitors that come and eat at farmer's market, in our restaurants, any food waste from that will go into a green bin and then go out to the anaerobic digester, which will create clean electricity and high quality compost. So the investments that you make in the healthier soil are gonna have positive payback in the form of longer lived grapevines and better wines down the road the elimination of chemicals from organics, and a conscious focus on using your soil to be a repository for atmospheric carbon. So we plant a cover crop that grows all winter, um, can get five, six feet high. We graze our flock of sheep so they go through every vineyard block three times. They turn that cover crop into manure that gets incorporated in the soil, and that builds the carbon content of the soil. So it's in the soil rather than in the atmosphere. Someone in the local town here could have a bottle of beer that was made in Holland and refrigerated all the way to their fridge here when they could have bought the beer half an hour away that was just as good with an equally interesting story and saved a huge amount of carbon footprint. So there's something to that. We're 100% solar powered. Um, we've reduced the amount of water that we need by 80%. Every opportunity we can get to sort of a repurpose part of our process will do it. One of the many special things about San Luis Obispo County, we are collaborators, we're not competitors. So farmers teach farmers and then farmers teach consumers.